chosen 4-H for until I graduated from high school and that's how I learned how to do this lacing um, and I did the tooling and did different projects and entered them in fairs and yeah. This is my first cross, mm -hmm. and I made it for my youngest son's wedding. And I went on the internet and just looked up different things for, you know, Western out, and their wedding was outside. So I thought, well, let me do some searching. And I searched and I saw a pattern, and I thought that'd be perfect because they were using a whiskey barrel as their altar. So we just laid this up against the altar, and it started, and then I just kept buying more boots and more boots and started making crosses for people and kind of just exploded from there. <laughs> I don't have a cross that I've made for myself in my house <laughs> but um, and people just really like them and it's a way just kind of to preserve you know because cowboy boots the bottoms wear out the heels wear out the soles wear out but the tops don't wear out the memorial crosses that I do for people because I'm taking something that <clears throat> one of their family members used or wore and repurposing it into something that they can physically see and hold on to. Months ago a lady, her husband passed away during COVID and she he was worked at a funeral home so he had ties, a box of ties. <laughs> she gave me a box of ties so I took one of her ties and I made a little pouch for her out of his tie. I do wallets and checkbook covers, um, coin purses, eyeglass cases, um, phone cases, um, keychains, purses. <laughs> I do craft shows, vendor shows. Um, I don't do a lot of them just because I don't have a big inventory, you know, and it's hard to, it's hard to travel with crosses. <laughs> you know, a lot of them. I've got three totes that I take to craft shows and that's probably my biggest. And then word of mouth. So if people want to get a hold of you or would like to have you do a project or look at some of your stuff. Message me or check me out on Facebook, um, LNJ Recreations or it's Linda Miller at yahoo.com. Mm -hmm.